Hey, well, hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I hope that everybody is doing well. I'm doing pretty good, can't complain. So I wanted to come on really, really quickly. I um, I couldn't wait. <laughs> this can't wait. <laughs> um, I was just, uh, I just uh, realized that there was um, a person who used to be at the same religious organization as I. I noticed that they had a just discovered that they had a, a Facebook, not a Facebook, excuse me, a YouTube channel. And I was like, oh, so-and-so got a YouTube channel. This, you know, that's cool. And they were um, exclaiming how excited they were because they had, they were free. You know, I think um, good to be saved, something, whatever. I'm sorry, not whatever, like in a bad way. But the, you know, like, because uh, I can't remember now what they were they were excited because they were i think more or less free um from you know darkness basically you know um and from and i'm not sh from darkness let me just say from darkness for now anything else i'll put it in the comment section so on the description so or wherever so i was like oh that's that's cool and you know both of us you know came out of like i said that religious institution uh, both were, you know, we were very active leaders there, workers and leaders in that uh, particular religious organization and whatever. And I was just, so it brought my, back to my mind, started making me think about um, the, the silly, foolish deliverance ministrations we will have there, all these deliverance services we will have there, making people fast for three, two and three days and making them come and pray these so-called fiery prayers, you know, and whatnot, instead of just telling them, although my, in my administrations, various administrations, this is what I would say, but instead of us just really sitting the person down, they don't even have to come for and do all that, but instead of just letting them know, look, what you need to do is stop sending in to be saved. Submit your life to Christ and be saved. We didn't do that. That would have brought excitement because the person, you know, what I'm, t the brethren that I'm referring to, like, they were so excited. I was like, oh, you know, because it was, you know, it does your heart good when people are excited about Christ and about their deliverance and about being set free and knowing that they have really been set free, you know, um, and whatnot. So I was, you know, like I said, I was excited, but, but I was saying it was such a waste of time, like a, a waste of time, money, talent, you know, energy, efforts, and every single thing. Because, like I said, we'd have these foolish so called deliverance programs, uh, having people come, and they're supposed to be fast, and of course, a lot of them were not. But, you know, a lot of these people, all they needed to do is submit their lives to their life to Christ. That was all they needed to do is submit their life to Christ. Stop sinning. It was this one uh, candidate that would come every single time. And, you know, when we were all aware and we would talk about it, the person had very bad character. So the person had never been, you know, had not received the Holy Ghost, was not re regenerated uh, by the Spirit of God. And so it was doubtful that they were even saved. They were church goers. They were church members, in quotes. But they were not saved, okay? We shouldn't, can't be members of church. And I keep trying to tell people this. You need to go and study. You cannot be a member of a so-called um, religious organization or false church. And be a member of the body of Christ at the same time. It is an oxymoron. It is contrary one to the other. You will be doing all sorts of nonsense that that religious organization wants you to do with all them false brethren and whatnot. That's what would be, you know, you'll be doing. But you won't do a thing that Jesus has called us to do. Okay. I'm sorry, people have dogs. So that is what I wanted to say. So, but, you know, and that would have brought so much joy from the per for the person. And, and it would have, you know, because it would have freed them and really, they would have really received a deliverance and a freedom, you know, but we wasted so much. So that's why I always try to tell you whatever I'm telling you is experience, okay? I'm not just pulling something out of my head and, and uh, half-baked uh, half or anything like that, you know. 
it's, it's, it's experience, okay? And, uh, and, and spirit led at that. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I love you very much. I hope you get the, uh, that you, you will be delivered from the spirit of false brethren, false churches, false leaders, false teachings, and, 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 um, false prophets and all of that in Jesus' name. I love you very much. Talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.